Hi guys, welcome back for video number two. Okay, so what are we doing? We're talking about boobies. We're talking about boobies, boobies, boobies. <laughs> what is like living with large breasts? Oh my goodness gracious. You know, I have what many people buy and wish they had. We always wish we have something that somebody else has. So I have big boobs. White women, even black women, who, especially out here living in Las Vegas, a lot of women love big breasts or want big breasts because of, like, strippers want big breasts because um, the men that comes into the strip clubs and all that stuff like women with big breasts. My sister is the prime example. She was a stripper. Uh, we went to go get her boobs done years ago, and she want to go bigger now. Like, she really does. She just told me the other day that she wants to go get a bigger boob job. Now, right now, my boobs are like, well, well, they used to be 40 double D. Now, I don't know what the hell they are. I haven't got size in a few years, but they're pretty big. So, um, they used to be very small. In my younger days, when I was a teenager and before having kids, but every time I had a child, I had my boobs grew more and more and more. And the more I gained weight, they they grew more and more and more. Um, so they gave me a lot, a lot. They got me a lot of things over the years. So like back in the day when I used to go to the pools out here in Las Vegas, there was a best one having big boobs. Walking there with a whole bunch of white men. White men see my boobs. They will give me anything. They will cash out their, their debit cards and credit cards on me just because I walk in there with big breasts. Like, they love them. Um, having sex with men, you know, they love them. There's something to play with. They've been called the girls forever by different people. I don't know if I should have said that. <laughs> but... Uh, but that's what they've been called for a very long time. Oh, my girls. I miss my girls, my girls, my girls, my girls. Not by me, by the male counterpart. They always call them the girls. Um, but, but yes, that is what it is. So I love having them for being a female perspective. I couldn't imagine my life without them. Now, with that being said, do I want to get rid of them? Absolutely. And what I'm doing now is I'm in the process of trying to um, get rid of them without having to pay my own money. Maybe down the line, I probably will have to pay my own money. Um, so I'm trying to go get I insurance to pay for it route first. So I am um, just contacting my PCP. They just sent over the referral to go to pain management first because I have a lot of back pain. So what I have to do is I have to get massages from my, from my well, it used to be my husband. Yeah, so I got to get back massage. I have to pay. I pay people monthly to go get a massage monthly because my back kills me like like no other. It really does. Um. So, so yeah, and um, so hopefully... So for my doctors that I have to do for the, for, for the insurance to pay for it, for six a month, I have to go to pain management, take take medications, see if it helps. Then another six months, physical therapy to learn how to work out my back. And I actually start that. I got to call in a minute and set up my first time to go to actually both of them, actually. And I go got to go for the next six months. <sighs> Keep getting calls. So, yeah, guys, so living with big boobs is a hassle. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of maintenance. It looks fun, but it really is painful. So every time I say something about it, all men be like, no, don't get rid of them, don't get rid of them. Yeah, I'm in rid of them because you don't got to live with it. I do. I have to carry these bad boys around every day. I cry in the middle of the night because my back is killing me. I have to stress and walk around with all the pressure of these titties on me every day. And it's not like, you know, they're small. Like I know I can't go like super small because my frame is like, my frame is big. I have a bigger frame. So I can't go over super small, but I do want to get them smaller so I can have a normal life. So I don't have to go through this pain already. And I was just trying to tell my sister the other day, cause she was like, I want to go as huge big as I possibly can. No, you don't. And she's way smaller than me. My sister's probably like a size four. She is, tw I'm twice her size. 
and she wants to be get boobs as large as mine. Are you insane? No. So, so I'm hoping like hell. So I get a lot of attention for my boobs. I mean, a lot of people notice me because of my boobs. That is the first thing that you see when I walk past you is my boobs. Like you cannot hide them. They are tremendous. They look, they got me looking crazy personally. Like my, I look like a letter P in my opinion, because all you see is boobs and then everything else is flat. Like, like it's weird. <laughs> it's like, this is what I look like. I look like a letter P. So I want, I want to fix this. I want to lower the amount of boobage that I have to match my body. Cause they're so big that they're not matching me anymore. And it's making me look crazy to me. So, and I just took a picture the other day. My boobs is just out there. Like ginormous, like doo -doo -doo -doo. They're like, they're not matching me. They're making me look like too big up top. And I don't want that anymore. Um, so yeah, so I get a lot of men who love, you know, who's attracted to me because of my big boobs. I get a lot of women who's attracted me to me about my big boobs. I get a lot of, you know, a lot of comments on social media about my big boobs. You know, I get noticed because of them. I can't go anywhere because of them because I have ginormous tits. And I know I do, you know. <laughs> so um, when I post a, a video on TikTok, and I'm going to actually do one today specifically about my boobs, and I know I'm going to get, it's going to go viral because it always does when I post something about my tits. Like, so I have to get um, extra 1X shirts to get over my tits, and it's just not fun anymore. It's just not fun. It's just not fun anymore. Like, it really isn't. And if I have any more children, they're going to get bigger. So I wanted a boob job. So my goal is to have a boob job. I've wanted a boob job for a while. Two years ago, I went and got a consultation um, to see if I can get a breast reduction. I smoked then, so I couldn't get a breast reduction because they wouldn't know do it because of it, smoking thins your blood. And if something happens, I will bleed out. So they would not do it until I stopped smoking. Now I'm in a position where I don't smoke anymore. I can actually get my boobs done. I can get my um, uh, tummy tuck. I can get my body done with no problem because I don't smoke anymore. And that is my future goal is to get my body done. <laughs> um, yeah, so fuck all this working out and working in the gym. Shit, I'm trying to go get a BBW. I ain't even kidding. And just get this shit done and over with. You feel me? I'm I'm so sick of all this extra skin, extra fat, like just just so much extra, 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 extra. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> so, so anyway, anybody else have any big? I mean, big titty issues? Like, you know, I have the big broad shoulders, big, you know, the big back, tough back now, big boobs. Like, I'm sure I can get whatever I want because of my tits especially from certain cultures or races or whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure I could, but you know, I'm just, I'm just tired of them. So I'm going to take you guys on the journey of, of, um, when every time I go to the, to the, um, my first day with the pain management, then I'll do like a three month check-in for pain management and, and physical therapy. Then I'll do my six month pain management and physical therapy, um, video and let y'all know where I am and how I'm doing, any progress from the insurance company, all that. Because I'm going to take you guys all through this whole journey. If I'm lucky and my insurance pay for it, if I, they deny me even after doing all that and they still deny me and then they say, you know what? No, we can't. We have to pay for it. I'm going to figure out a way to pay for it myself. I'm not playing with it. I'm not playing with it because I am going to get rid of these boobs. Even if it's like two sizes down, two cups down. That's all I need. It's about two cups down just to... Start somewhere, you know, just start somewhere until I get to, to the size that I want to be. I don't even know what size that is anymore, what size I want to be anymore. It's just a point. I want to be smaller. Oh, and this is a fun fact. When I was breastfeeding Trey, <laughs> this is a fun fact. When I was breastfeeding Trey, I fell asleep because he was very little and it was the middle of the night and I was tired. And if you have... Uh, big boobs I suggest this never happens don't ever do this okay don't do this because get up because I rolled over on my baby Ooh, these pimp pimples are driving me crazy I rolled over on my baby and totally forgot that he was there okay I'm violating HIPAA like a mug <laughs> so so let me close this out a second yeah yeah um so yeah I completely was like, 
<laughs> I rolled over and I don't even know how long I was laying on him because I was completely asleep because I was laying on my side and he was just laying like laying like here and he was you know nursing on the nipple and I fell asleep and literally fell asleep and fell on top of him and rolled on top of him and I woke up in the middle of the night in a panic and hopped up like oh my god and when I lifted up my little poor baby I was suffocating my baby like it is terrible it is that was so terrible that was the most horrible thing that ever happened in my life I almost killed my child with my boobs another issue that I have with living with big boobs is when I'm having sex you know when I'm getting hit from the back and they just bounce in and they like go in circles like like I don't know if y'all <laughs> Like, I can't do it, but y'all see what I mean? Like, they be bouncing and they go in circles and stuff. And they just be in the way. And when I go to sleep, I don't sleep with bras on, so I can literally sleep on my boob. Like, like I will literally sleep on them. I will roll on top of them. Like, it is a mess dealing with big boobs. That's why I need them done and lifted and make them perky. Because, Lord Jesus, mine is a whole mess. Their whole mess can't wear pretty tops anymore. You can forget about that. You can hang that all the way up. You cannot wear pretty tops anymore because you have too much boobs. You can't wear what the small titty girls wear. You just can't do it, boo boo. You just can't do it. You are a big titty girl, so you have to wear big titty clothes. And I have learned that a long time ago. Like, so I don't like to wear um clothes that has like a crew neck because it makes me look heavy up here i don't like to wear sweaters because it makes me look stocky i like to wear open wear open chest i like to wear stuff with the v-neck it gives me a little bit more femininity when i'm closed up i don't look feminine at all i look really footballish you know because of these big titties you know so i have to maneuver what i wear to make me look a little bit more softer and look more feminine and look more girly you know what i'm saying um, can you guys relate to this? You guys relate to what I'm saying? I hope the, I know the girls, they, they, they have to. And, you know, I rub on them all the time, you know, because they're mine. I don't think they're that big of a deal if when I do, because I don't, I don't know if I, how often do I do? I, I, you know what? I probably do it a lot. I probably really do. Cause I'm just thinking about it. I kind of rub on them up. I rub on myself a lot because they're here, they're here to play with. Like I have something to play with. I guess just like a man grab his pee pee. I grab my titties all the time. Yeah. It's true. I will say I don't. I don't hate having titties. Of course, I love them. I just don't like them as big as they are, and that's why I, I'm really hoping that I get my breast reduction. That is my goal, and uh, and I'm putting it in God's hand because He knows the pain that I have to endure and go through. And I'm hoping, like heck, that everything works out and I can actually get it. Because I would be crushed if I go through this whole process for six months and then and then don't have. It. I would be crushed. <gasps> Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm, uh, in it here. Okay. I'm in it here, guys.